The lines are drawn in oil, as it happens. On the one hand, a growing number of cities, states, and colleges. On the other, our very fossil-fueled administration and its president. New York City announced January 12th a multi-billion dollar lawsuit against five top oil companies, citing their contributions to global warming, damage to the city, and lies to the public. New York's also divesting its pension funds from investments in fossil fuel companies, amounting to some $189 billion being removed from 190 companies over the next five years. It's the biggest city and the biggest hunk of money to move yet. While Mayor Bill de Blasio and his team were busy divesting, President Donald Trump and his were preparing his first State of the Union speech. Trump's cabinet, lest we forget, is stacked with former fossil fuel executives. Rex Tillerson, former ExxonMobil CEO at State, Scott Pruitt, champion at EPA, and that's nowhere near a full list. Just hours before the big event, ExxonMobil was good enough to announce that it will be investing $50 billion in so-called American jobs thanks to the GOP's tax cut. And so the president was able to claim credit for Exxon's job promise in his big speech. This is our new American moment, said Trump. On that one point, we may agree. This story isn't really about progressive, a progressive mayor versus a fossil president. It's about a shift in consciousness. The last few years have seen smart, persistent organizing on college campuses and shareholder meetings at law firms and bankers' offices and city hall conference rooms. All that work by people flipped what looked like responsible risk management from investing in familiar old firms to getting out of them, and better still, making them pay up. New York City's case isn't de Blasio's case. It's the people's. It says so clearly in the complaint. New York City versus BP, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, ExxonMobil, and Royal Dutch Shell. Read the case and decide for yourself. Where do you stand? As the president said, this is our new American moment. Thanks.